what advice do you have for our listeners regarding how they should approach this and really push back if they see the tactical mindset ensuing what really should be strategically driven decisions? Absolutely. I think it comes to understanding the stage the business is at, right? And I don't think I learned this until sort of my more recent experience at both Union and Pomp. Pomp was zero to a million dollars, right? We didn't have a brand and we had to build it. Whereas Union has been around, existed, we had customers, but ultimately we were looking for a step change of like, what are we going to do to triple this business? Right. What are we going to do to maintain the 50% year over year growth rates that we need to do, right? And so if you look at those, you have to look at like, what is the stage the business is at? And in order to achieve that stage, what do you need to do? And so that's the tactics I think come in is because people are like, oh, we want awareness ads. Oh, we need we should be doing Google. We should be doing, but if you don't, if you're not ready for that step, you don't have the foundational systems in place, both from a messaging perspective and from a operational process perspective. Doing the awareness, doing the big picture stuff isn't going to do anything, right? And so when I came into Union, they were doing a lot of things. A lot of things were happening, but nothing was consistently impacting the the bottom, like what we needed it to do, right? right? And so I took a step back and it was all a messaging approach at Union. What are we really trying to sell? How do we educate on that? And it was a lot of internal work to begin with. And that's where it goes back to like, you really need to understand the stage the business is that is at what it needs to accomplish in order to go to that, and then it, then assign the tactics to it, right? And I think kind of a lot of people fail at b- backing down to the, is the messaging right? And do we have the process and systems in place, right? Great, you could do a really awesome lead gen campaign, but if your website isn't flowing and it's not tracking effectively, right? Like, what are you doing? Why are you wasting your time on it, right? And I think we just miss that. One of the other things I, I tend to like to talk about is I look at the role as a chief marketing officer as truly the conductor of an orchestra, right? And like you think about the the orchestra, it's all those little instruments that are being played. You can play all those instruments, but if the flutes are too loud or the guitar, like they're, they're not working together, you're right. failing miserably, right? And so that's where like, I think the startup advice of anyone coming in is like, what's the stage you're at? What orchestra, what players do you have in your orchestra today, right? And how do you really conduct it in a way that's going to drive it? And at the end of the day, to me, it tends to always start on a messaging perspective. Are we saying the right message? And have we educated everyone internally on that message, right? I, I totally gr- agree. And that um, that cohesion is so important uh, when it comes to, you know, aligning, um, you know, thought leadership through what the CEO might be saying, of course, sales and marketing and rev ops and, you know, all those different um, sorts of departments. One thing that I run into consistently, constantly, all the time is that, and we're going to talk about how to establish a budget in, in a little while here, but the the view of the C-suite is far larger than what their budget can handle. And that is where the rub is. And, you know, regarding the right strategy and the go-to market approach is, do you have the budget to actually achieve that? Talk us through some of those conversations. You know, I love the example of you, you know, taking the bus to work and, you know, the the bus advertising and out of home. And, um, you know, was that budget there for Grubhub at that time or did you have to go fight for it? In that specific incident, we had to go fight for it. Um, And it was more of how are we going to measure this? How are we going to know it's working? Because it was the days of we had performance-based media. They knew the exact CAC we were going after, right? We we were like we were, it was very known. If we spend this, we're going to get this. And so this was a risk. 